Hey, we're winding down, but hey, uh, SCU, uh, you want to keep this going? I was, Nick and I were wondering if you wanted to come to our hotel room and order a little room service. Will there be booze? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, if there's booze, she's, you she's can up count for us in, brother. All right. All right, everybody, this has been a blast. Thank you, guys. Let's have some fun. How's your food, guys? So far, so good, man. I, uh, this is the second time in a row I didn't get what I was hoping. I ordered, <laughs> I ordered real chicken breast, and I got this chicken sandwich with fries. <laughs> kind really? of on a diet, too. And yeah. Oh, you're so. screwed. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to eat them all now. You look good, though. Oh, thank you. You're so you, sweet. You look so lean. You said I was, yeah, you said I was pretty Super good. Awesome. Oh, Sky's been... legit. Okay, so we're in the back. We're doing the weigh-in. And Nick goes, Sky's really 202 pounds now? That's a real thing? I don't know if I'm 202. Yeah. But I, I think I am finally about 200 pounds for the first time in my life. You That's hard to do. What are you doing different? Uh, steroids. <laughs> I was right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, at least um, he's honest, ladies and gentlemen. Remember when we, we saw this guy? Oh, no. What's this? What? He wrestled MJ. Oh, my yeah. God. I do know this guy. <laughs> and then what? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. And he comes he back stage. That match sucked. <laughs> whoa, yeah. whoa. He takes the ball out. He throws it. MJF comes out next. And he goes, hey, man, is everything okay? This guy goes, no, it's not okay. It was the worst match of my career. I do not know why I'm still in this business. Yeah. So, no, so, so MGF picks up the elbow pad, hands it to Sky. Sky grabs it, throws it back down. <laughs> That's a little bit of an No, over. it's true. <laughs> it's true. We had to get him out of a funk that night. Man. Yeah, we, we did. were there. We did. And Nick and I just looked at each other like, what is happening? But it's a, per it's a perfect example. Yeah. Of you know, but you guys shots. do that too. Sometimes of you guys course. come back. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, oh god, that match sucks so bad. Oh, it was terrible, it was terrible, it was terrible. <laughs> right. And I watch it, I'm like, that match was better than any tag match I've seen, and uh, aside from you guys <laughs> well, in the last like ten that. years. We're all we're all crazy. <laughs> I've never had a good match because wow. even if it's picture perfect, I'll rip it apart and I'll get mm. depressed and I'll go into a weird. Same like you. Why am I in the business? You know, like wow. it's. But like, if you guys, you guys watch your back and you say it's good and you say it's good and you guys say yeah. it's good, and I'm like. That's but I think that. that's what makes us what we are. We're never satisfied. We're always demanding more, and we hold ourselves to such a high level that mediocre or good isn't good enough. Sure. Yeah. It's do, bad. Do you, do you think it's you know? a, a SoCal pride thing, maybe? Maybe. I think it's, it's a wrestler thing. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I think it's more of a wrestler thing, because I know a lot of guys that are the same way that aren't from SoCal. It just, yeah. we hang with each I other literally, so often. Like, too. There's yeah. opposite though. Sometimes guys come back after a shit match and they're mm. like, did you see that? And it's oh, like, oh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it was bad, bro. I've literally <laughs> seen like you guys before a match and you look up and go, this is going to be the worst match of my career. Oh yeah. yeah. You guys go out there and you have this six I say stars. Legendary, I say that a lot. Like spectacular. I say that a lot. Sometimes it just clicks though, but sometimes it doesn't. And you know, you just have to learn how to deal with it. But it's so yeah. sad that how, you, know, you we've, still doubt we've yourself. all been doing this for so long and we've done it 15 years and we, you guys, you guys have done it, it longer yeah. than us yeah, just, and it never gets better no i've heard comedians talk about it where it's like they go on stage and they bomb and it's the same thing it's you know yeah. it's just it's an i think it's more it's not, it's not a socal thing it's not a wrestler thing it's an artist thing it's yeah like, i can see that you go out and you bomb and that's it it doesn't matter the first six months of this year like we kind of like hit the indies pretty hard yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you guys were going yeah. crazy we did like the yeah. worst tour and we, we, we yeah. went everywhere yeah. like, australia went all the country and like we had some good matches with guys, and we had some like okay ones. But like every time we would come back, and we'd be like, it just it's just so different when they're right. when we're in there with guys like the Bucks or guys like the Briscoes, just guys that you know, like just you have that instinct. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? It's so rare when you actually get in the ring and you touch someone for the first time, and that chemistry is just there, and you know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we had that with like the Motor City Machine Guns, where it was like right away. Yeah. Like the first time we wrestle, I'm like, it feels yeah. like we've wrestled these guys for five years. Same but it's the same chemistry. Like the first time I wrestled like him in the yeah. singles. Oh, yeah. mm. Like you just have that chemistry. First time I wrestled him in the singles yeah. back in the '90s. Right. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. You know, like it's it's weird. It's just you have that. Yeah, you since the it. '90s. That's insane. These CDs wrestled forever. in WCW. <laughs> Uh, you've done extra e WWE, I worked ECW, WWE. ECW, ECW. Oh my god, this all is it. insane! Like, Everywhere, you, you don't even realize these things. New Japan, all the other, what other Japanese now, companies? Now AEW, Noah, um, oh, yeah. Zero One, Wow, uh, Mishinoku Pro. Jeez, so, no one has. You're a one of the like that yeah. Nobody yeah. can say that. Nobody. Anymore. Maybe Chris Jericho. Jericho is probably Jericho, Jericho. And, and CD. They're the only. Next year, the only ones. Fourth decade in the business. That's wild. That's crazy. And you guys still go harder than than anybody. Like. 
I was like, I tell Nick all the time, like, how do these guys do it? I can't keep up with it. My like, God, like, and I'm, I'm only in my 30s. Stupidity, and... lack of options. Yeah, it's really <laughs> just all. How long you know, have you been? It's in real the pride. Now? This is. I just hit like my 17th year. 17. I think. Geez, so you started yeah. a little before me because I want to go all the way back to my first day of training, and uh, I was a backyard wrestler. And I was this arrogant kid. And uh, was every yeah was <laughs> well now you've got now you've got reasons like yeah, then yeah, exactly. shit. yeah now you can be like it's okay oh, well, now, now you have a body of work that you yeah, can exactly. yeah. <laughs> now you can sort of brag about it so I, sh- I show up like a total jerk and like I'm like doing backflips and all this stuff and like I'm not introducing myself and for whatever reason Sky's there and and Sky's the only guy there who 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 treats me well doesn't bully me doesn't beat me up he he takes me aside teaches me how to properly lock up and I'm like. This guy's cool, and everyone else is just yeah. kicking my ass. <laughs> like I came home with a uh, bruised chest and uh, like just bleeding everywhere, scabs, a black eye. And my dad was like, "I'm gonna call the cops for assault and battery." <laughs> yeah, like legit. <laughs> I'm like, no, they're just initiating me. This is all part of the business. <laughs> but like, I kept coming back, and Sky was always the guy. Like, come here, man. And he would talk to me, give me pep talks. I'm like, I always remembered that. And so I-, I remember those days, and you're right. Like people. Like, <laughs> hated you for, mm-hmm. for yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I mean, by association, they hated me. By association, he wasn't even around. Yeah, yeah. you weren't yeah. around in the no, very no, beginning. No. But uh, yeah, they hated you because yeah. you would like. I think you got in the ring for the very first time and you did like a shooting star press. Yep. And yeah. landed I told feet. everybody, yeah. move, move out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I did a shooting star press. <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah, and everyone's like, who the hell is this guy? Yeah. But the thing about yeah. it was, uh, you had like this chip on your shoulder. Yeah, and. I sympathized with it because when I started, which was not that long before that, maybe mm. a year or whatever, but I had the same chip on my shoulder, as strange as it may sound. Like, I saw a lot of, of myself in you, yep. when sure. you on your first day, and I was just like, I'm going to be different. Like, I'm not going to be a shitty guy like all right. these other people are. Like, I'm going to be nice to this kid because yep. you know, maybe that's all he needs. That's you cool. know? For yep. you to even have that mindset when all your other peers are doing the other thing, like to me, it's like, that's a special guy. Well, I first started like reading your names like on, yeah. ironically enough, the website, so Colin Censored. Yeah. <laughs> I remember reading about your names, and I was like, oh, these guys, yeah. dude, they're just they're hardworking kids. Mm-hmm. They just want it. Like, yep. We told you the first time we met you. Or not met you, but we first saw time you. First time you saw me. Like, at the, to the Anaheim Marketplace, right. where there's, a <laughs> outdoor Luch- show. there's an outdoor show, Lucha show, every Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. But oh, it was you it. versus Rising Sun. And uh, we thought you guys were the coolest wrestlers in the world. Oh, like, look at how cool their long hair is. <laughs> yeah. Well, but then uh, even before that, though, uh, late at night, I think it would be at, like midnight on KDOC. UPW. Okay, UPW yeah. would be on, and we would see you guys yeah, all the, the time. And they yeah. also like they also. Um, this is how I first met Samoa Joe because in SoCal, when like wrestling, when the business was hot. Yeah. It was like ninety nine, ninety eight, ninety nine, and uh, UPN came in when SmackDown was on UPN. And they did a special on me mm-hmm. because I was like the champion for Jesse and Bill at the yeah. time. I watched this. So I got started. Right. Yeah. And, like, and this That's aired right, right after SmackDown. Yep. And this That's is when right. they were doing yeah. like six and seven ratings. So oh, everyone yeah. was watching. We saw this, yep. So, um, so they did a special on me. And I'm like, I'm Frankie Kazarian. I call myself the future. And the future looks good. And, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, and I'm just doing my thing. And everybody saw that, including Samoa Joe. Wow. So the first time I met Samoa Joe, we did like a private workout <laughs> with his trainer. And him and I just worked out. He suplexed the dog shit out of me yeah. for an hour. And la- years later, he told me, he's like, oh, yeah, it's because I watched that, that uh, UPN thing. You came <laughs> off like a real prick. And wow. I, like, I love that. I don't know why Thanks. I like I so started much. training because of that, that really? bit. Really? Oh, I was, I've heard you I was, tell yeah, that story. I told right. the story a million times. I was yeah. like 16 sorry. years old right, yeah. watching SmackDown. Yeah. They do the this little bump fault. for the commercial at, or for the fault. news mm-hmm. after. They show, I'm Frankie Kazarian and the oh, future funny. looks good or whatever. Yeah. And, I'm, and it was advertising EWF School of Hard Knocks, which yeah. is in San Bernardino. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, mom, there's wrestling here. I didn't know about the Indies. I didn't know about the Indies. I'm like, oh my God, mom. So my mom calls Jesse the next day and gets all the information, which was Friday. And then Saturday, Quicksilver and I go to our first training session wow, together. Really, really? together. Oh, funny! Yeah. I didn't know that. I remember when all. we watched you and Rising Sun. Though you did a, a spot where it was like you were like. The sun is about to set. Oh, you guys told me that. And yeah. I was like, I, like when you told me <laughs> that I, story, I cringe because I remember I did something and I put him down with something. And I went, the sun's about to set. I thought I sounded we, so cool. No, we popped. Well, yeah. Like, that was great. I so had like, to sound like the biggest asshole. I'm pretty sure up. we tracked you down and got an autograph after the show. And yeah, I think we did. To this yeah. day, because of like the crap talk that you said before you hit a move, now I go... You're dead, and I do a move, or whatever right, I say. I love right. that. Go to hell! Go to fire, baby! See ya! I think it's because of that. 
I, I was like, that. that's cool. We banter. I love that. Yeah. yeah that was... So we, we basically talked about how we met you guys, CD, the first time we met you, and you forgot about this. I completely forgot you about this. <laughs> we booked him. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't. Here, okay, tell the story so first, and I'll tell you what I remember what I don't agent. remember. <laughs> in 2006, 2007, we had our own independent company called mm-hmm. Hyverse Wrestling. You were our first name. Like, we wanted. We're like, we need to bring in a big name. How about Christopher Daniels? We're like, yeah, and he's, we found out you're a local. We're like, he's mm-hmm. coming from Palmdale. This is great. This is easy. You came in and you wrestled Brandon Cutler's yeah. brother Diablo, mm-hmm. who's also in the business for a second. You guys tore it up and had a great match. And our house literally, like, oh, I would say it, it went tripled. from a hundred to like three, three fifty, three fifty, four hundred. I don't know if you're the X division champion at the time. I think you were. You might have been. You I might don't think belt. I had the belt then because okay. I ended up putting Dustin over because he had the belt. No, it was a DQ. Or was it DQ? Oh, so maybe I did so, have so, the belt. Yeah, that was maybe the belt. I did. That was something. Maybe then. Then that it was the first time we've ever like realized politics and wrestling because we had Dustin going over and you came and you pulled us aside and you're like. We hey, understand. You know, I yeah. can't really do the job. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I did. Yeah, maybe I did have the belt because I would never have said, oh, right. man, I can't he do the he job unless I had yeah, a reason. Yeah. So we were like, that's fine. And you came out with a great finish where, like, we would send him home happy. It was great. I came out. I took an angel's wing. I was marking. I was under like, yeah, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he gives it to me, and, like, it was amazing. We're like, this is so cool. It was, like, a few months later, and we were like, God, our, <laughs> man, the house is so great. CD was awesome. Let's book him again. So we go to book him, and then, and Bill goes, yeah, his price just went up. His rate went up. And it went up like 200 bucks. Ah. And we were like, wait a minute, we just booked him a month ago. Oh, you <laughs> didn't know this. Oh, shocking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, but here's what I came back. But I, came, yeah. but I know I yeah. did another show. Yeah. I know I did another show. You did it. So we, so we paid it because we were uh, like, okay. who cares? Uh. So you came in and you did a tag match. This time you worked with Nick. Yeah. Uh, and which, then two other which uh, guys with us. literally didn't remember. Dude, you, exactly. Well, no, I remember the show. No, I remember the okay. show. I so wait a minute, remember. I teamed up with you. See, I didn't remember. <laughs> I didn't remember it was you because when you told me, oh no, I was Mr. Instant Replay and I yeah. was yeah. Slick Nick Caution or whatever, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Slick Nick Caution. what? Slick Nick Caution. And yeah. and literally, you were playing two different people at that point, right. and that like, there's been so many guys that I met once, sure, and never wrestled again. And uh, and that was how my brain sure. sort I, of like dude, I get processed it. Now. it. I'm like, yeah, I would 100%. never ever remember. To bring it all full circle for me, it was like I knew you guys were good guys with good hearts. You guys had our backs when we were nothing. So it's like when we had any stroke, like we were, we would always help you guys out. We didn't. You guys never knew we would, you know, be the executive vice president of a wrestling company. And you always had our back, and you were nice to us from the day one. So we we're like. We, we have the best matches with these guys. Like, we have the most in common with these guys. They're our friends. They're great dudes. It's like, if we can help these guys out, of course we're going to help them out. It was like, it, it wasn't even a matter of actually, I shouldn't even say helping you out. You guys are helping us out. And it's funny because, like, when you guys go out there now, it's like, like, this is like the new age outlaw, the new, new age outlaws. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, your act is so yeah. over. Like the first ever Worst Town bit. Yeah, Where was really, that? In Florida. Okay, Florida. 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 Yeah. It's really Wait, us anyway. taking our bags out and him going, <sighs> This is the worst town I've ever been in. And I go like, yeah, this town sucks. It's a swamp. And he goes like, yeah, I'd like to get back to it. Now it's like, this This is the worst town I've ever been in. The the cool thing about it, like, I'm always amazed by you guys' vision, right? Because you guys pitched the idea to us, and we're like, hell yeah, we're down. Like, we wanted to get on the show anyway. So then we started doing it, and I remember specifically you guys said, Give me two weeks. And I remember exactly two weeks after we started, we went to New York. Yep. Remember that's remember when we did Hammerstein. Yeah. We were watching we were in, from the back. Yes. we wanted to hear. We were in a uh, gauntlet, gauntlet match. match. Yeah. We ran out. You guys ran out. The building shaking. The building just Literally erupt. in the back when you feel the building shaking. It was shaking. the first SCU chant ever. Yeah. SCU! Yeah. SCU! We're yeah. heels. Everyone. We're looking at each other in the ring. We're like, the whole what's re- happening dude, here? Dude, the backstage area, all the boys are like, what the hell's going on? And Nick and I just look at each other. Yeah. We give each other that yeah. knowing look. We're yeah. like, I go to the back there after the match. I remember we go to the back yeah. after the match. I remember there was such a sense of pride. Yeah, we're guys. just like, you guys. It felt so good to see. <laughs> you know, it was just like, and I just remember going, I was like, you were right. Yeah. Two weeks, uh-huh. like we were on yeah. cloud nine. And it's like, it, that's we just said, hey, do this idea. And you guys blew it up. And here we like uh, one of the best ever. Will you please tell the do you story? The what? Do you? Oh, the do you. Do you. To this, to do this you. day, it still pops. To you. this day, <laughs> every know, time man. in my household, because it's so known now between Dana see this? and I. You see me trying to pour this a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose, by the way, guys, yeah. just to pop you. <laughs> every day, though, I'll I'll just be like. Like my response to Dana after that, I'll go, do you? She'll go, do you? Oh, and she'll just catch me off guard. I'm like, whoa. Like it's just, it's that over. I mean, I'm, sure, I'm sure she loves that. Yeah. Okay. The do you story. All right. So it's, um, oh my God. Late 99, early 2000, maybe. It's my first ever 
foray into the WWF dark match system. This is like back in the day when like you weren't treated like like scum. Like you right. weren't you weren't put in the closet in the little. You had to closet. go to the actual locker. Dude, like yeah. I remember my first my wow. first I went in the yeah. locker room and I remember legitimately sitting there and I've told Jericho the story sitting there and opening my bag and I had like a Metallica and a Quiet Riot CD and Jericho being like, oh man, let me look at that CD and we're talking music and stuff. Sure. And, and like I'm sitting there with like with I'm flares right there. Just you know it was sure. like it was weird. It was. And uh, so I go out there and I, I look at the board and it was, uh, you know, and I'm wrestling Bob Holly. And Bob Holly, this is at the height of his being just a badass, yeah. just, he's hardcore Holly at this point. Jacked to the gills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge. And, and he's kind of uh, has a reputation. Yeah, you know, his right. reputation of being like, yeah. a, like a prick, basically, yes. you know, like. He's intimidating. Sure, very intimidating, especially for me. My first time in the, like a WWF, like, ring. Right. Jeez. We get there and it's, uh, we're kind of warming <laughs> up and I'm just a. Uh, I'm doused in hot stuff. Everybody every knows what hot stuff is at this hot point. Well, explain what hot stuff okay, is. Okay, so hot stuff is like a... Is like a it's vas- a vasodilator. Yeah, it's a dilate you. So it basically brings the blood to the skin and gets you red and vascular. Kind of smells like icy hot. It, right, right, yeah, right. It's right. got a, a very pungent smell. Cinnamon type thing. Right, 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 so right, I'm right. just literally bathed in it <laughs> and oil and everything else. Every gimmick. <laughs> I got my, my hair is just slicked back, wet. just And like, so we're warming up and, you know, I'm just reeking this stuff and Bob's warming up. And he's got cable, and he's like, Who the fuck's wearing hot stuff? <laughs> and I basically just kind of like back away slowly and then sprint to the bathroom and like basically shower. <laughs> yeah. So then I come back out and I'm like right next to Bob and he's just, just jacked, just doing cables. And I'm just Angry like, cables, probably. And I'm like, uh, You know, and there's like a blow in the conversation and I'm, it just got real awkward. And I'm just like, Fuck, say something, say something. And I'm like, Oh man, I really like his entrance music. <laughs> and I go, so I'm like, oh, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna tell him. You know, I'm like, this is back, and I thought like everybody like had like, oh, I like this music. So I'm like, oh, this guy has good interest music. So maybe we're both into the same music. So, so he's doing his tables, and I just go like, I like your ring music. <laughs> <laughs> and he literally is just doing this, and he stops and looks at me and goes, Do ya? <laughs> <laughs> and I just, dude. I felt this big, I just go like, yeah, so I got a real heavy riff. <laughs> and he just like looks at me, and he just keeps working out. And like my partner looked at me, and he kind of was like, <laughs> why did you say that to him? <laughs> he just and then screwed so, the whole thing up. Right. Oh, so anyways, we didn't end up having the match. Yeah. It got scrapped. Anyways, I ended up wrestling Bob Holly like two years later on a Velocity taping or something, yeah. and he beat the dog shit out of me. <laughs> but what's funny is... Um, a few years ago, after we left TNA, CD and I we were on a tour of uh, the UK, mm-hmm. and Bob Holly was on a tour with us. Could not have been more different. Sweetheart. Yeah. And I told him the story, and I was like, yeah, man, I was real nervous. I told you yeah. I liked your ring music because I was so nervous. And, uh, and all you did was look at me and go, do you? And, and he goes like, oh, man, you know why? He's like, I thought you were fucking with me. And I'm like, Bob, why would I be fucking with you? <laughs> I'm right. an extra. Just an I'm extra. 20, I'm 21 years old. I'm 170 pounds. You're jacked on the main roster, and I'm going to fuck with you. Hey, I, like your ring, I like your ring music, asshole. <laughs> anyway, you guys want to eat more? I'm pretty I full, bro. Eat more, brother. We want to drink more. We got to finish these bottles. bottles. Does anyone want my tomato Pass slices? Fries, right? <laughs> no tomatoes. Yeah, no, thank I, you. Yeah, I want those tomato slices. That have been sitting, sitting for two hours. Room temperature. Thanks for eating room service with us. Thanks for having us, guys. Nice.